Hello, boys and girls. Today, we'll compare objects to see if they are the same or different. Our friend, Eddie the Elephant, will help us. Hey, guys. Everybody enjoys playing with balloons. Do you like them too? Of course. I'm very good at blowing them up. Have a look. Wow, you can do it really well. Look, guys, here are two balloons. They are both yellow and the same size. We can say they are the same. Yes, these balloons are exactly the same. Oh, we've got one more balloon. Let's have a close look at it. It's the same size as the two other balloons, but it looks different. The first two balloons are yellow, and this one is red. It differs in color. I have other toys, too. These are two stars. How beautiful they are. They are both blue and the same size. We can say that these stars are the same. I'll blow up one more star. It looks very much like the two other stars, but it's also different. The two other stars are blue, and this one is pink. It's the same shape and size, but it's a different color. Ooh, they got blown away. I'll have to make some more toys. This is a mother duck with her ducklings. Are they all exactly the same? Take your time, look carefully. Tell us what you've noticed. They are all ducks. That's what they have in common. But the mother duck is bigger than the ducklings. Right you are. This duck is different in size. It's bigger. All our balloons got blown away. It's time to finish this lesson. In our next episode, we'll be looking for objects that fit together. Sometimes, when you look at a group of objects that you are sorting, you might think, hey, there's another way to sort these objects. That is what we're going to do today. We're going to sort the same group of objects two different ways. I think the best way to explain this is with an example. Let's check it out. Let's look at those cars from the introduction. What is one way we can sort these objects? They are all cars, so we can't sort them by what kind of object they are. But I see different colors and sizes. First, let's sort by color. Let's find all of the red cars. Let's start by looking at the cars. We'll be able to find the red ones easily. Here's one. This is a big red car. Right now, I only care that it's red. It doesn't matter what size it is because we are sorting by color. We can put it in the group of red cars. Let's find the other red cars. This is a red car too. It's also big, just like the other car. But remember, we are only sorting by color. We can have small red cars too. Let's put this in the group of red cars and see if there are any other red cars left. This car is big like the other ones, but it's not red, it's blue. We can't put it in the same group because it's not red and we're sorting by color this time. We'll have to wait to put this in the next group when we're sorting by size. Let's look at the rest of the cars. Check this car out. It's small, but it's red. Does this go in the group of red cars? Yes, of course. Even though it's small, we are only sorting cars by color. It fits right in this group because it is red. Let's put this in the group of red cars and see if there are any other red cars left. Do you see any more red cars? Neither do I. There were three red cars. Two of them were big and one of them were small, but they were all red. Let's look at the same group of cars that we started with again. Can we sort these cars another way? Yes, we can sort the cars by size. There are big cars and small cars. 
When we sort this group, we won't care about the color of the car, only the size. Let's find all of the small cars. I see a big red car, so that doesn't fit in my group. I see another big red car, and that doesn't fit in my group either, because it's big. We want small cars. I see a big blue car, and that doesn't fit in my group either, because it's big. Remember, we want small cars. Aha! Here's a small car. It's a small red car. We can put this car in the group of small cars. The color doesn't matter, as long as it's small. Let's take a look at the last car to see if it's small too. This is a small car too. It's a small blue car. Remember, the color doesn't matter as long as it's small. There are two small cars in this group. There were two ways to sort this group. First, we sorted this group of cars by color. We found all the red cars. Then we sorted the same group by size. We found all the small cars. Some of the cars belong to both groups, and that's okay. I'll leave you with a challenge. Can you sort this group two different ways? I'll give you some time to think, but if you need more time, you can pause the video and answer when you're ready. Okay, here's the answer. We can sort these birds by color. There were three yellow birds. We can also sort these birds by size. There were three big birds and two small birds. Remember, when you are sorting objects, look to see if you can sort them more than one way. Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're going to find objects that are just a little bit different than the other ones in the group. Let's take a look at our friend Billy. Billy is an elephant. He's cool, he's smart, and he really likes peanuts. What color is Billy? Billy is blue. Whoa, look at that, another blue elephant, just like Billy. It's the same size, same color, and the same type of animal. They look exactly the same. Oh my, another elephant. This one looks just like the others. Is it exactly the same as the other elephants? No, this elephant is the same size and the same type of animal, but this elephant is yellow and the other ones are blue. The color is different for this elephant. This one is the one that is different. Before we get started, let me give you some hints so you know what you can look for. Some things to look out for are color. Like, is one of the colors different from the others? See, this one is a different color. Shape. Like, is one of the objects a different shape than the others? See, this one is a different shape. Size. Like, is one of the objects larger or smaller than the others? See, this one is a different size. In position. Are all of the parts of the objects in the same position or pointed in the same way? See, this elephant has a trunk facing down and the other elephants have their trunks facing up. Let's look at some other groups of objects and see if we can find the one that's just a little bit different. I see three elephants. They all look the same, but let's take a closer look. Put on your detective glasses if you need to. When I take a closer look, I can see that this elephant is smaller than the other ones. Everything else is exactly the same, but this one is a smaller size. This one is different. Here are some really cool dinosaurs. What do you notice about them? They all look pretty similar. I want to put on my detective glasses again to take a closer look. This time, when I take a closer look, I can see that this one 
is facing the other way. This one is different. I'll leave you with a challenge. I want you to look at this group of robots and tell me which one is different. I'll give you some time to think, but if you need more time, you can pause the video and answer when you're ready. Okay, here's the answer. Look closely at the robot's face. I see a circle and a square for the robot's eyes. But are they always in the same position? Look at this robot. His eyes are backwards. The square and the circle switched positions. This one is different. Remember to look closely when you are trying to find the one that is different and to look out for size, shape, color, and positions as things that might be different or out of place. When we look at objects, we notice different things about them, like their color, their shape, and their size. We can group objects together that are the same, like objects that have the same color, or shape, or size. Today, we're going to talk about sorting objects by size. Let's take a look at some animals. Look at all of these awesome elephants. There's Eddie and Billy. I also see three other elephants, Jackie, Jade, and Jeffrey. I see big elephants and small elephants. One way we can sort or group these elephants is by size. Let's find all of the small elephants. Eddie is a big elephant. He does not belong in the group with the small elephants. Billy is also a big elephant. He does not belong in the group with the other small elephants either. What about Jackie? Is she a big or a small elephant? She's a small elephant. She must be a young elephant. She belongs in the group of small elephants. Jade is small too. She looks like Jackie. Maybe they're sisters. She belongs in the group of small elephants too. Whoa, check out Jeffrey. That's one cool elephant and he's small too. He also belongs in the group of small elephants. Are there any other small elephants? I don't see any. Great job sorting these elephants by size. Let's try sorting one more group of objects by their size. Check out these cakes. I love cake. There's some chocolate cakes and vanilla cakes. Some cakes are big and some cakes are small. Yum! That's a lot of cakes. And there's a few different ways we can sort them. But today, let's sort them by size. Let's find all the big cakes because who doesn't want a big cake? I see different colored or flavored cakes, but I know we want to sort by size. I think I'm going to ignore the flavor and color of the cakes for now and just look for the size. Remember, we want to find the big cakes. It doesn't matter what flavor or color they are. This cake is big. Let's put it in the group of big cakes. This cake is also big. We can put it in the group of big cakes too. Do you see any more big cakes? Yes, this cake is big. Let's put it in the group of big cakes. Now there are no more big cakes. Today, we learned how to sort objects by size. I'll leave you with the challenge. Can you find all the small teddy bears? I'll give you some time to think, but if you need more time, you can pause the video and answer when you're ready. Okay, here's the answer. Here are the small teddy bears. This yellow teddy bear is small, and this blue teddy bear is small too. We can put them both in the group of small teddy bears. Great job. Remember, when you are sorting objects by size, 
Make sure the objects you put in the group are all the same size, no matter the color. Hi, girls and boys. Today, we'll learn how to sort objects by color and size, and we'll see how it can be helpful in our everyday life. Hi, Eddie. Hello, everyone. What a cool hat you've got. <laughs> like a real farmer. Thank you. I need to pick some berries for dessert and vegetables for a stew. There are different berries here. How do I know which ones are ripe? Think of berries that are usually served for dessert. They are bright red and smell delicious. Right. I'll only pick the red berries that smell yummy. Let me see. I'll pick this one. And, nope, this one is green. Wow, here's a ripe strawberry. And this... No, it should stay on the bed. I'll pick this one, and this one, and this one too. Now there are only green strawberries left on the bed. And all the red ones are in my basket. Great job, Eddie. We can say you have sorted these berries by color. They'll make a great dessert. Now I need to pick some nice squashes. Wow, there are so many different squashes here. They're all ripe, except for the green ones too, right? No, squashes don't change their color. But the riper ones are bigger in size. Got it. Then I'll collect the big squashes of any color. This yellow squash is so beautiful, but it's too small. Let it stay on the bed to get ripe. And this one is big. And even though it's green, I'll pick it for my vegetable stew. This squash is big too. And I'll take this one. Awesome, Eddie. We can also say that you have just sorted the squashes by size. I've collected all the ripe strawberries and squashes. We'll make a great dinner from them. And we could do it because we know how to sort objects by color and size. When we look at a group of objects, we can sort the objects into three groups. The first thing we should do before we start sorting is to look at the objects and the names of the groups. It looks like we'll be sorting some animals into different groups. It looks like we have some awesome elephants, some fantastic frogs, and some beautiful bears. Awesome! Let's sort group by group, or in this case, animal by animal. We'll find and sort all of the same type of animal before moving on to the next type. We can start with elephants, and then move on to frogs, and finally the bears. Let's get started. Here's an elephant. Awesome. Let's put him in the group for elephants. Can you find any more elephants to sort? Aha! Here's another elephant. Let's put him in the group of elephants too. Are there any more elephants? I can't see any. Let's move on to the next group of animals. We can check our work at the end to see if we've missed any animals. Now, let's find the frogs and sort them. I found the first frog. Let's put him in the group for frogs. Can you find any more frogs to sort? Got another. We can put this frog in the group for frogs too. Are there any more frogs left? Yes, there are. Here's the last frog. Let's put him in the group for frogs and we can move on to sorting the bears. This isn't so hard, finding and sorting one animal or one group at a time. Here's the first bear. Let's put him in the group for bears. Can you find any more bears to sort? Here's the last bear. It's also the last animal. All of the other animals have been sorted. Let's put this bear in the group for bears. Great work. Let's try to sort one more group of objects. We'll get started together, but I'll ask you to finish sorting these objects on your own during challenge time. This time, the groups will be different, so we'll have to pay close attention to details. Here, we have a group of shapes. We'll be sorting them into triangles, 
squares, and circles. Let's use the same strategy as before and sort group by group, or in this example, shape by shape. Let's start with the triangles. Here's the first triangle. Let's put it in the group for triangles. Are there any more triangles? Well, now it's your turn. I'll leave you with a challenge. I want you to finish sorting the shapes into three groups. I'll give you some time to think, but if you need more time, you can pause the video and answer when you're ready. Okay, here's the answer. Here's the other triangle. Let's put it in the group for triangles. It's the last one. Now we can find all the squares. Here's the first square. Let's put it in the group for squares. Here's another. It belongs in the group for squares too. And finally, here's the last one. It also belongs in the group for squares. The only shapes we have left are two circles. They both belong in the group for circles. Let's put them both in the circle group. Great work on the challenge. Remember to look at all the objects and the names of the groups carefully before you start sorting. Sorting one group in different ways. Hey guys, today I'm playing in the park. In the summer, all leaves are green and seem the same. And now, in the fall, they are of many colors and look so different from each other. Hi, everyone. Yes, leaves change their color in the fall, but color is not their only difference. Hmm, what else is different? Look carefully. There are leaves of different trees in this heap. They don't look the same. Yes, the shapes of a maple leaf and an oak leaf are different. The oak leaf looks like an oval with a wavy edge, and a maple leaf looks like a star. Try to sort this heap into two groups, maple leaves and oak leaves. I'll give it a go. Now the maple leaves and the oak leaves lie separately. Let's think how else these leaves are different. I know, some leaves are big and some are small. Correct. What about sorting the leaves by size? Great, we've got a heap of small leaves and a heap of big leaves. Apart from the shape and size, is there any other way to sort these leaves? I think we can also sort them by color. They are all of different colors. Not exactly. Some leaves are yellow, some are red, and some are two-colored, yellow and green. Let us see how many leaves of each color there are. Sure thing! That's easy! Yellow leaves are the most, red leaves are less, and yellow and green leaves are the least. Even though these leaves have fallen off, they are still very beautiful. Should we make a wreath of them and hang it on the front door? That would look very pretty. Awesome idea! I'll do that! It'll be easy because I've already sorted the leaves by shape, size, and color. 